Having a server that does failover for DHCP is a really great thing, just in case your main DHCP server goes down. I installed DHCP on another server called Server01, and I've got it installed, of course, on my domain controller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the IPv4 and choose Configure Failover. And I'll click Next. Now I'll type in the name of my partner server and click Next. Now it's going to give me some options, such as the relationship name, which we see here it automatically filled in. And we see the maximum client lead time. In this case, it's going to be one hour. The mode is load balance, but if you want, you can choose just hot standby. So load balance means that both of the servers are going to be used, whichever one has the least amount of load. However, if we choose hot standby, then it's not going to do anything until the main server fails. And you can see it will reserve 5% of the addresses for the standby server if needed. Now we're going to need a shared secret. So I'll go ahead and type in a password for the shared secret and click Next and Finish. And it was successful. Close. Now I can add that server in by clicking on Add Server and type in Server01. Click OK and Expand. And you can see it has a duplicate scope and address pool that DC01 has, and that's because it replicated everything over to DC01. There's a couple other ways that you can do DHCP failover. One is by having the second address just have a scope in an address pool that does not overlap the other server. So you'll end up having the one server serve up the majority of the IP addresses and the other server when needed. And the last way to do it would be through clustering. So if you set up a failover cluster, then you can end up turning your servers into nodes that run applications such as DHCP, and you can have them fail over to each other as needed as well.